Hi beautiful souls. So in this video, I'm talking about how to manifest anything you want. This goes for anything. Watch till the end if you want to not miss anything. Let's get into it. So if you want to manifest anything in your life you've been struggling or you've been watching videos and nothing seems to help, here's what you got to do. Stop watching videos. Stop watching any type of content online. You don't need it. You don't need these YouTube videos. Don't stop watching me yet. I mean, you know, it's at the end of the video, but you get you catch my drift, right? So get rid of um, all technology if possible. If you want to manifest something in your life, you got to stay aligned with it. Parallel. You guys need to be parallel. You need to be mirrored. You need to know the frequency. You need to know the vibration. Everything in this life is vibration. Everything. Your voice, uh, walking, you know, the list goes on. Gravity. You, get, you catch my drift. Everything is energy. So you're more powerful than you realize. It's not about being a powerful manifester or a witch or, you know, having these super cool magic tricks in the back of your trunk. It's not about any of that when it comes to manifesting what you want. It's about your belief system and what are you seeing every single day. So when it comes to manifesting, what helped me is that I had to remember that I'm worthy of what it is that I'm asking for. And what that means is what would what would me and my desired result look like? Okay. When we're talking about a specific person, you want a committed relationship with them. Whether you believe it or not, that's on you, but you want a committed relationship. You may not want marriage. Everybody's different, but you want to, that person to be committed only to you. So what would that look like? How do you feel about that person? Do you feel like you love that person, that your heart beats faster when you see that person? Do you feel like, oh my gosh, there's this boy flies in your stomach and you're just fluttering every time you look at them and they're looking at you and you guys are locking eye contact and you're just like getting all shriveled up and they're getting shriveled up. Up and it's like, oh my God, because they're thinking of you and you're thinking of them and they're thinking of you thinking of them. And it's just like, ah, so what you do is you get your emotions like I just did right there. And you think about how you feel when you're talking to this person, when you see this person, and then you go ahead and transition that to them because how you feel about that person in that moment is how they feel about you. All right. Probably times 10. So you have to get into the feeling state in order to manifest any and everything you want. If you want to avoid the feeling state because you've been going through this wave of manifesting and it's just not working for you, you want to manifest without feeling, you do that by letting go. How do you do that? You let go. So what I mean by that is say, I just gave you guys a specific person example for feeling state. And I'm going to give you a specific person example of no feeling. And this will help you manifest fast as well. So if you have no emotion and you let go and you say you're done with it, this is how you should do it. You should tell the universe and God that you're done. I'm not doing this anymore with this person. I'm tired of it. I'm over it. I'm not giving them my attention anymore. I've tried so many times to be with this person and each time it just ends up like this. I'm over it. I'm done. I'm going to go focus on me. I'm going to go focus on other people that make me happy. I'm going to go do what I want and that's it. I'm blocking this person's platform. Now, when I say block, I mean not necessarily go block them because I would have I mean, not that it would evade, they could still find a way to contact you, but it's going to be a whole mental freaking program going on in your head that is going to tell you that they're not going to contact you because you blocked them, right? So like probably not block them, but maybe unfriend or not unfriend, mute their profile or something so you can go live your life and do you and not focus on them. And um, when you let go, you'll notice results are going to flood in for that specific person because you let it go. So letting it go is just giving in to, hey, it is what it is. I'm moving on about my life. When that person comes in, then you get back to doing what you did before, which is manifesting your desires. And so as you're in communication with this person and the communication continues to grow, because now you showed this person your worth, you showed them that I am way better than this and that I do not need you. Okay. When you show this person that they don't have free will, they're going to do what you want to do, what, what you want them to do regardless that's when you take your power back. So yeah, if you want to do it without emotion, that's how you do it. And that's the same thing with money. If you want to manifest money and you want it fast for whatever reason you want it, stop thinking about the lack of money. If you're thinking of the lack of money, you're going to continue to manifest lack. So what you do is if you know that you have bad spending habits, what you say is every time I spend money, I manifest more money. Every time I spend money, I get more money. Large amounts of money is on its way to me now.
unexpected money is flowing to me right now. And if you struggle with manifesting and using these affirmations, guys, I have a manifest everything journal. Check the link in the description below. You're going to love it. Okay. In that journal, I go over powerful techniques that you can use that are going to bring in your desires. They're going to bring in every single thing that you want, but you have to first take the first step. You got to get these tools and use them when you have the resources. You can't manifest anything if you believe that there's a lack of. So you have to stop focusing on the lack of and focus on the actual desire itself and how it would feel. And if you don't want to use emotion, let it go. So what I mean by let it go when it comes to money is instead of thinking about how you have a lack of money, stop caring about what kind of money is there and not there. See, money is currency. It flows and it's an energy. It flows, right? So it comes and it goes. So instead of being like, when you purchase things like, okay, I'm going to purchase this blue crayon. Oh my God. But it's like $5,000. This blue crayon is, that is out of my budget. When you're saying things like that, you're forever going to be saying things like that because you're not going to get anything different. But if you say that blue crayon is so amazing and I'm going to buy it, I can't wait. I'm not going to buy it right now, even though I can, but I'm going to go buy that $5,000 crayon. Do you know how many millionaires in the world are millionaires, but there's a lot of things they still have not purchased yet? So if you want to have something in life, you have to act as if you already have it. So when it comes to money, crayon, okay, you just focus on the fact that you already have it. You're just not getting it right now. Nothing else to think about. Don't give yourself a whole rundown about, oh, you're bad with finance. I just told you what to do when you when you know you're bad at something, use it to your advantage and turn it around. Turn it around. If you know you spend a lot of money, then say, hey, I spend a lot of money, but it doesn't matter because I make even more money every day. Like, you know what I'm saying? Rich people are not rich because they don't spend money. Like, no. Rich people are not rich because they're focusing on every dollar that's spent. No. Do you know how many things they're paying for? Okay. To be rich, it requires you to be able to sustain it. Yeah. Let that sink in. Being rich requires you to sustain it, so that means they got big bills. It's not like they're getting two dollars for their house and you know two dollars for their car. And you catch my drift. So if you want to manifest it, you have to let go the literal seriousness that you have about this subject. You gotta let it go. And you got to say, you know what? It happens. It happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But all I know is every time I spend money, I make even more money. It just happens that way. Keep it pushing. You'll start to notice that in your life. You never need for nothing. And that's what I've noticed. You have to use these broad affirmations to, t to literally change the rest of your life. I do things like I always get what I want. What does that imply? It implies that I always get what I want. Does the bear have its arm on my Wow, it's like resting its arm. I, I didn't even realize that. It's like a whole shoulder thing going on over there. I never named him. I got him for my Valentine's Day. I never named him. I think I'm going to call him Ben, though. But I got it like a long time ago, okay? From my SP, okay? It was like seven years ago, I think. It's like the beginning, beginning of our relationship. But anyway, back to what I was saying. You have power. You always will. So remember that. And if you feel like you're putting too much attention on something, do what your soul and your spirit is asking you. Do it. Let it go. Stop giving it so much of your energy because it's draining you. And when it's draining you, you can't create like that. Think about a painter, right? If a painter's stressed out and they're not focused on their actual painting, they're not going to manifest it. You get where I'm coming from? They're not going to manifest it. So stop being so serious. That's what I tell people. I tell people when they're mad and stuff, I say, stop being so serious. You're taking life too seriously. Because if you knew you were going to die tomorrow, you think you're going to be worried about how much money you have in your bank account? Right. Exactly. Okay? You have the power. You always will. But you have to believe that. And if you struggle and you know you struggle with manifesting, use the resources that are available. Okay? I have affordable coaching that is available regardless if you need payment plans or not. It is in the description below. It is called the Track Your Desires course. If you fill out the form before you do it, make sure you DM me or you can email me at simplicitysimlife at gmail.com and we can get you going on coaching so that way you can start bringing in your desires rather than push them away.
All right. I also have a manifest everything journal. So if you're more of a person that likes to do things on your own and you love journaling anyway, it's perfect for you. I love to include all kind of wonderful techniques in that journal. They are really amazing. And you will see that you won't have a problem manifesting anything ever again because you are going to tap into your source energy. You are going to be bliss. But the first thing you have to remember about this life is that you get what you feel you deserve. All right. That's the only thing that sets rich people apart from poor people or people who are in love, who are in the people who think they can never find love is that they, they are their belief systems. So the people who feel like, oh, every time I get in a relationship, I get cheated on. That's what's going to continue to happen because that's what you're saying. That's what you're speaking into existence and our words create they create. So you should start training your mind, spirit, soul, body to stay opposite of what it is you think is really happening. Say the opposite. Say, I'm rich. Money is always flowing to me. I never have a problem with money. I always have more than enough money. Money is never an issue. I am successful in everything I do. Things are always working out for me. That's what you say. All right. Let me know in the comment section when this helps you because I know it will. I love you guys so much. If you're a new viewer, thanks for watching. If you made it this far, sub to the channel. And for reoccurring viewers, hey guys, I love y'all so much. Sending you virtual hugs, happiness, joy, all that jazz. Remember your power, okay? You're very amazing inside and out. Someone's glad you're here. Don't ever forget that. Sorry, Saxy. Bye, loves. Talk to you later.